Marine biologist Gretchen Lovewell runs a turtle rescue in Sarasota, Florida. But this season, she's not doing much saving. Unfortunately, the vast majority of what we're doing right now is carcass recovery. We're picking up a lot of dead animals. Hundreds of sea turtles, thousands of fish, and dozens of manatees have died, washing up on shore, poisoned by a toxic algae bloom called red tide. Our turtles are getting it through their food, what they're ingesting, uh, and it acts like a neurotoxin, so they, they'll get really disoriented in the water. It's harmful for humans, too, and can cause breathing problems, burning eyes, and skin irritation. It can make shellfish from those waters dangerous to eat, too. While the bloom happens in saltwater off Florida's west coast almost annually, this is the longest outbreak in over a decade. And the murky reddish-brown water has a foul stench. Lots of dead fish and pretty smelly water. <laughs> Look at all this. This is, uh, this is disheartening. I mean, there's a lot of fish here. A blow to tourists. We can actually smell it up here in the air. And business owners like Joe Farrell. We're probably down 20% uh, in the last few days. Scientists say heat, lots of rain, and a recent release of nutrient-rich water from Lake Okeechobee may be triggers for the aggressive bloom. Time's of the essence when we're dealing with these animals that are right on the edge. Clinging to life in the wild with no end in sight. Katie Beck, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.